Suddenly, impressive cliffs rise on the north coast. Access roads are rare, except on the San Miguel side. Since antiquity, the mooring here has been known for being well protected from the wind. The rocks and shallow waters never seemed to bother the Turkish pirate ships that plundered the coast from the 14th century. So great was the threat that the islanders erected watchtowers to alert one another of attacks. Near the beach of San Miquel, the limestone rock is hollowed out with deep excavations. The Cova de San Marsa has been open for around 100,000 years. Smugglers have been accumulating treasures here for a very long time. The limestone is dissolved by runoff, which seeps through from the surface. When the water flow is weak, the limestone particles accumulate to form the stalactites on the roof and the stalagmites on the floor. From the other side of the cave, the beach of Beniras. At the crook of a perfect curve, the wind gently blows just enough to refresh the bathers on the beach. At the water's edge, the fishermen in their pontoons see the whole show. The lighthouse of Portinash points to the north end of the island. The islanders strive to maintain the traditional architecture in the construction of new residences along the coast. In fact, a law was passed in 1991 which now protects 60% of the coastline. The beaches alternate with callas cut into the rock, spots where the water level sharply rises. Not far from one beach, in the village of Escanar, is where the oldest hippie market on the island is found. Even if the articles have lost their authenticity, the stalls still attract clients and the public keeps coming. There's something for everyone, provided that every purchase carries the essential Ibiza label. In reality, the market concept has somewhat evolved. This is the hippie market. The name comes from a time when the hippies had started a modest market. Then people began traveling. They brought back more and more things. The craft industry grew over time. But in truth, I think this market has become very commercial. On the other hand, you still find objects here from India and elsewhere, and people from different countries have a chance to meet. The hippies themselves never could have imagined such success. One of the most alluring bays of Ibiza wraps around Santa Eularia de Rio on the east coast. Rio means river in Catalan, a river that flows into the bay when it isn't dried up. 
on the Puig de Misa, the peak of the mass, from the 16th century, a fortified church used to take in large populations at the time of Moorish attacks. The thickness of the walls gives some idea of how much the people dreaded the Muslims. Below, a museum of local ethnology has taken over a former farmhouse. A rather eclectic collection comprises the inventory of the different traditional activities and objects from the entire Pitiusas archipelago. From the beginning of time, artisans have used their expertise to transform materials. Each object has a specific purpose. Glass is wrapped in rope to protect it from breakage, and perishable goods are conserved by drying them. Between the local cheese and the pressing of olives, the museum depicts everyday life as well as festivals in Ibiza. A living museum that retraces the island's past, its peaceful and troubled times. The Santa Ularia Bay nearly lost all its charm due to development plans in the 1970s. Fortunately, the promoters ended up adopting a more compromising approach. Close to the town hall in Spanish Square, people take time to enjoy life on the shaded terraces. A lovely summer day. The crowd gathers at the end of the afternoon to get the best seats for an eagerly expected event. Daylight is replaced by artificial lighting. Let the fashion show begin. Ibiza developed its own style in clothing over 30 years ago. It's known as adlib, an abbreviation of the Latin ad libitum, which means according to one's pleasure. With a lot of white and a hint of provocation, the ad-lib creations evoke the light of the island and the purity of its forms. Inspired by the hippies, this lightness has transcended years and generations.